What is going on guys? Welcome to Gums Videos. My name is Kyle Garber. Today I'll be reviewing Skyrim. I'm kind of new to the game style of Skyrim. I played Fallout 4 and then Skyrim. So every time I play a new game of that style, it just gets bigger and bigger and it gets more fantastical because Fallout 4, there was like you could build stuff. There was like all these other groups. I was like, oh my God, it's so amazing. Then I played Skyrim. Holy shit, this game is freaking fantastic. I love it every single aspect of this game the game is so massive there's so much lore behind the game it's just a fantastical game first off i love how like these side missions i mean i have a complaint about the side missions but i'll talk about that later but i like how each side mission kind of leads into a, like a huge lore and then like each of those lores have a different lore it's like huge and i'm still digging at the you know history of skyrim i'm still learning a lot of new things i've been playing the game for like six months now and i still haven't played every single thing yet i'm just learning to build a house right now so that is one thing i love and will praise to death about this game is that you can play this shit for hours upon hours days upon days weeks upon weeks and still not actually play the full game so that's one thing I will I really love and I love that each character you create can be so significantly different from the other. I have a wood elf and then I have a high elf. They're so different from each other. What's the main difference from each character is the fact how, and how fast you can learn each thing or like how resistant to poisons you are or if you can breathe underwater. There's so many different things you can do in this game. And one thing I really like is that you don't have to do these side quests just to do the side quests because one way I found out that would be really fun to play the game is to play as if you were a certain character, not to play as if you were yourself. I mean, that's how I played first is like I played as myself and I found that to be fun. But then I started creating these fun characters in my head and then I just started doing stupid shit and it took me to different paths. So I found that to be really fun. One complaint I do have to have like really discuss in this game is the fact that there's a lot of bugs. I ran into a lot of bugs in this game and it really, it, I, I normally wouldn't have a problem with bugs because it's such a massive game, but these are so big that actually affected the way I played the game. I wanted to complete this quest, but I couldn't complete the quest because I apparently infiltrated that same cave a couple weeks ahead of time and I killed someone and took something in his pocket. And then I come back to the cave weeks later and I needed that one thing in this pocket, but I already sold it and I didn't remember where I sold it to. So that's not technically a bug, but if that was such a huge thing, he shouldn't be in that cave for that particular moment, if you know what I mean. Because if I'm going to explore, then I shouldn't be able to affect a game or like a quest so far into the future. Another thing I, I mentioned with the uh, side quest, they're too similar. I do praise that the stories are so different, but the structure of the gameplay is so similar. And it's like you go there, you're a nobody, then you like rise through the ranks, and then they give you the highest honor possible, and then you end up running that organization. Thieves Guild, uh, Dark Brotherhood, College of Winterhold. Those are the main three I've really played and I really ended up liking. And those are almost the same exact thing, except you get different gear and stuff like that. I love this game to death. And I, I'm a sucker for, I don't know why this is such a specific thing, but when I can improve a certain character in a game, I fall in love with that game. Like when it comes to GTA 5, I love that because you get to raise your stamina and you get to raise your strength because I actually have to improve my character to be the best that he can be because there's an actual difference in that. Like for example, Overwatch, that game, is a fun game, I'm not gonna lie, it's a really fun game. But you don't really get to upgrade your character because when you play, you get like new armor and stuff like that. I don't really know, I haven't played the game that much per se, but you don't get to unlock, you know, you don't get to level up your accuracy, you don't get to level up this or that. So when I played Skyrim, I saw the list of what I have to upgrade. I was like, fuck bro, I was gonna be there for days because I have that sense of accomplishment. I like, I have to upgrade 100%. Like I have to be 100%. And then I just, like months later, I'm like, I just accepted the fact that that's not gonna happen. I want it to happen. I'm gonna continue playing it to this day and I'm gonna probably play it to the day I die or until the internet's not a thing and we're, we're starting to fight World War Seven with sticks and stones. So overall, I really love this game. The main storyline was a little short, which is when you had to fight Alduin. I wish that was a little longer, but the, the game is not more of the 
main quest it's more of an exploration game so you got to find those side quests and do a lot of things because there's a lot of weird shit i found a talking dog and a talking statue so there's a lot of shit to find in this game so aside with the glitches and all that other stuff i'm gonna give this game four out of five stars i love this game i definitely recommend it to you guys i mean i was like the only person on this planet earth that has not played the game before so if you have not go go play have a blast and just Say goodbye to your friends because you're not going to see them for the next three months. So I would like to hear your thoughts down below, guys. I have a Twitter, Instagram, Gums underscore videos. Go follow me there for the latest news and updates on my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and like up later, and goodbye.